Welcome to Learn Mechanical Engineering friends. In this lecture we are going to study application of dimension analysis to turbo machines. Example, general flow problem of a turbo machine. Here turbo machine you consist of number of parameters which is a function of flow rate, speed, rotor size, energy per unit mass flow, power, then density and dynamic viscosity is equal to constant. Number of variables in order are 7 that is n equal to 7. Number of fundamental variables is 3. Therefore according to Baking and Pi theorem n minus m that is 7 minus 3 is equal to 4. There are 4 pi terms. Repeating variables are diameter, speed and density. Let us derive pi terms. To derive pi 1, pi 1 is equal to right repeating variables d n rho and take another one term q with respect in with respect to pi 1. d raised to power a n raised to power b rho raised to power c. Since pi terms are having no dimensions, write in this fashion. Mass raised to 0, length raised to 0, t raised to 0. Diameter is having dimension of L raised to the power a, n to power minus 1, whole raised to power b, rho having dimension and q q t to the power minus 1 equate the LHS and RHS equate. first m m power is equal to 0 on left hand side so here minus 3 here only c is there sorry therefore c is equal to 0 then l a minus 3c plus 3 since c is equal to 0 here c is equal to 0 put in this term therefore a is equal to minus 3 this is for m this is for l then tan minus b minus 1 Therefore, B is equal to minus 1. This is for T. Substitute these values of A and B in sin in this term. Therefore, pi 1 equal to T. Value of A is minus 3. Value of B is minus 1. Value of C is 0. Write Q as it is. Therefore, pi 1 is equal to rho raised to 0 means 1. Q divided by and B. This is discharge speed total size of total dia meter. 
this is the pi 1 term this is how derive the pi 1 term in pi 1 term we should write repeating variables and q term remember this if you like this video subscribe to channel and like this video thank you